Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the top 5 best budget cameras in the market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. To see the price and find out more information about these cameras, you can check out the description below. Also make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the latest technology reviews. Ok, so let's get started with the video. At number 5 it's the Nikon D3300. The Nikon D3300 is one of the best and most sold DSLR cameras in the market, which is oriented towards beginners who want to pursue deeper with their careers. From a design perspective, the D3300 has a black compact body that's accompanied by a 3-inch screen located at the back and surrounded by menu and playback buttons on each side, while slightly above there's the viewfinder that'll give you a clear insight of what you're going to capture. To continue, a really interesting thing about the L to continue, a really interesting thing about the LCD is that it has 921,000 dots, which is more than enough to let you see plenty of details. At the top right, there's a shutter release button, a button for controlling the flash settings, and an exposure compensation control which is held by the grip, so you can shoot and have easy access to the controls without any effort. Moreover, I want to inform you that this camera doesn't have Wi-Fi but it supports wireless data transmission to smart devices. If you want to wirelessly transfer images, then you can invest in the optional WU-1A wireless mobile adapter and you're good to go. Moving on, the camera has a built-in microphone which is really useful when you're recording videos, so I think you won't find any remarks in that part. Now let's talk about features. The Nikon D3300 uses a 24.2 megapixel CMOS DX format sensor which will let you capture photos that will be well defined with great contrast, accurate colours and I also want to inform you that the camera's native sensitivity range starts from ISO 100 to 12800 but it can be expanded to 25600 which is impressive due to the fact that you can shoot in various lighting conditions. Another great thing about this camera is that it'll let you have a continuous shoot rate of 5 FPS, which is great for beginners who want to start capturing dozens of moving or fixed objects. Overall, I highly recommend this camera because it offers a great value for the price you pay, so give it a chance because I think it won't let you down. At number 4, it's the Panasonic Lumix GX85. The Panasonic Lumix GX85 comes close to offering the ideal blend of image quality, functionality, speed and size, packing a ton of advanced features and performance into a compact, well-built body, all at a fair price. Design-wise, this model comes as quite small, weighing in at about 15 ounces without a lens. You can choose three ver 15 ounces without a lens. You can choose three versions between an all-black, two-tone silver and black finish. All of them look and perform great. As for the build quality, it's a mix of metal and plastic. The plastic looks very identical to leather, which gives quite a cool look to the Panasonic GX85. On the rear, you'll find a 3-inch LCD panel that's mounted on a hinge, so it can tilt to be viewed from above. On the right, there are top controls, which include a record button to start and stop video capture, the on-off switch, a mode dial, and a control dial that surrounds the shutter release. There's also other controls that'll make your photo shoots more enjoyable. Regarding performance, the GX85 comes with a 16 megapixel 4 3rd MOS sensor, the new 5-axis in-body sensor stabilizer which will offer you greater vibration control and handheld camera movements. Moving on, this device is very responsive. It starts and fires in 0.8 seconds. The autofocus system is 0.1 second at its best, although it can slow down to about 0.3 in very dim conditions. The GX85 offers loads of exciting features surrounding its 4K capabilities, particularly with regard to 4K photo modes. It's capable of capturing 4K UHD videos at both 30p and 24p, as well as Full HD and HD frame rates. It captures video in either MP4 or AVCHD formats, so you have many variants to choose from. Furthermore, its colour rendering and white balance are excellent. The automatic white balance delivers some of the best results you've seen, even in cloudy weather, low light and multiple light sources, which are three of the trickiest conditions you'll encounter. Additionally, this model includes built-in Wi-Fi, so once connected via Wi-Fi, users can connect their iOS or Android devices using the Panasonic Image app for easy sharing of images and video. Finally, you should definitely consider the Panasonic Lumix GX85 because it's worth the money. 
At number three, it's the Nikon D3500. The Nikon D3500 is a fantastic DSLR camera that would be a great option for anyone looking for an entry-level camera that's capable enough to compete with most of the mid-range ones on the market. And let's hear why. From a design perspective, this particular model sports an attractive all-black polycarbonate construction with 18 to 55 mm and 70 to 300 mm lenses. In addition, this model incorporates a large LCD screen which will give you clear sight for live view monitoring and image review. Slightly below, there's an optical viewfinder, which according to users can truly provide you with a sharp and glare-free view of everything you intend to capture. The controls are intuitive, and they are strategically positioned along the top and the back of the unit, so you can always have access to them and make changes whenever you want. Now let's talk about features. The Nikon D3500 comes with a 24.7 megapixel sensor, which is 15 times larger pixel sensor, which is 15 times larger than typical cameras, and 1080p Full HD, which will offer you numerous benefits, starting from well-defined photos with numerous details, excellent color accuracy, and an ability to shoot in low-light environments without any noise. Since I've mentioned the light, I'd like to inform you that if you ever require additional illumination, all you have to do is take advantage of the built-in pop-up flash, which will exclude you from the need of purchasing an external flash. I'd also like to mention that through the Full HD 1080p, you can have videos and photos in order to save the most beautiful moments with your loved ones, which is pretty good for its price tag. Another great thing about this camera is that this device works with Nikon SnapBridge app for sharing photos with a compatible smartphone or tablet. It'll ensure a quick transfer of everything that you've previously captured to a mobile device. All in all, the transmission of your photos and videos will be exceptionally smooth. Overall, you should seriously consider the Nikon D3500 because this camera is a viable starting point before you get skilled enough to become a professional. And at number two, it's the Canon EOS 200D Rebel SL2. The Canon EOS Rebel SL2 is definitely a top choice for every YouTuber who's looking for a camera that can drastically enhance its content quality and make it look gorgeous in front of an audience. From a design perspective, the Rebel SL2 features an impressive build quality, starting from its deep grip that is adequate for people with large and small hands, and all the way up to its very angle LCD touchscreen that offers a crystal clear sight for your ultimate user experience. At the top, there's the mode dial, which offers plenty of useful options of which you can take advantage and adjust the camera according to your desires. Also at the top, there are dedicated controls for adjusting the ISO, the playback, live view and the exposure compensation. To continue, there are control buttons that surround the viewfinder and a circular button that's surrounded by two more buttons on the right side of the screen. Speaking of connectivities, speaking of connectivities, this camera has a built-in mic jack, a standard mini USB port, and what I love the most is the fact that the camera is Wi-Fi, NFC and Bluetooth enabled, so you'll be well equipped with everything you need. But now let's talk about performance. This model uses a 24.2 megapixel CMOS APS-C sensor and a Digic 7 image processor, which is amazing, due to the fact that they'll equip you with versatile shooting options. Or even better said, Regardless of whether you're recording in bright or dark surroundings, the video quality will maintain its quality to the maximum. In addition, you can record 60p videos without any problem, since the dual pixel CMOS autofocus will keep the focus right in place, so there's no need to worry. After you're done with your shooting sessions, you can transfer all your pictures and videos via the Canon Camera Connect app and upload them directly to social media. To conclude, the Canon EOS Rebel SL2 is a must-have. Decide to purchase it, the camera will ensure that you don't regret that decision. And at number one, it's the Canon EOS M100. The Canon EOS M100 is considered the best mirrorless camera and is designed to be simple and unintimidating for novices and smartphone photographers. There are many reasons why you should consider purchasing this camera, and we're about to explain a few of them. Aesthetically speaking, this unique model is available in an all-black stylish colour with very interesting details. Its perfect dimensions will allow you to take it with you wherever you go. On the rear of the device, you'll find the tilting 3-inch LCD touchscreen with a dedicated wireless button. On the top, there are the on-off buttons surrounded by a 3-option automatic shooting mode dial with intelligent auto, record mode and movie auto exposure. Let's talk about some of the features. 
The Canon EOS M100 comes with a 24.2 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor. This sensor records 14-bit raw files and includes self-cleaning capability. It packs not only more megapixels, but it also has a wider native ISO range going from 100 to 25600. Such an impressive stat. Moving on, the M100's dynamic range is very good. This refers to the camera's ability to capture detail in both the brightest and darkest parts of the scene, and some older Canons have fallen just a little short in this area compared to their rivals. The EOS M100, however, is up there with the best. Furthermore, the LCD screen has a 1.04 million dot resolution and is lovely and bright. Its touch function is both responsive and comprehensive. You can use touch shutter, touch AF, plus scroll and pinch to zoom in image playback. Nothing is lacking. As for connectivity, this device has built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and NFC, which will make it easy to share photos with your loved ones. My only remark has to do with 4K video. Interestingly, this camera does not shoot 4K video, but sticks to a video, but sticks to 1920 by 1080 Full HD. It's just my personal remark and doesn't need to affect your decision, especially in view of all of these great specs. To conclude, the Canon EOS M100 is a top option for every professional photographer who wants to invest in a quality camera.